Hello, it's Miss Mujan reading to you from this little golden book collection called Sleepy Time Tales. The book we are going to read is called The Boy and the Tigers. So this is an Indian folk tale, and it goes along with our Dream Big unit that we're currently, well, paused doing. But it is very entertaining and teaches you a lesson and is kind of bizarre, but really wonderful. And me and my girls all love it very much. So let's go ahead and read The Boy and the Tigers. Once upon a time, there was a little boy, and his name was Little Rajani. And his mother was called Ramita. And his father was called Kapali. And Ramita made him a beautiful little red coat and a pair of beautiful little blue trousers. And Kapali went to the bazaar and bought him a beautiful green umbrella and a lovely little pair of purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings. And then wasn't little Rajani grand? So he put on all his fine clothes and went out for a walk in the jungle. And by and by, he met a tiger. And the tiger said to him, Little Rajani, I'm going to eat you up. And little Rajani said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up. I'll give you all my beautiful little, I'll give you my beautiful little red coat. So the tiger said, very well, I won't eat you this time, but you must give me your beautiful little red coat. So the tiger got poor little Rajani's beautiful little red coat and went away saying, Now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. And little Rajani went on and by and by he met another tiger and it said to him little Rajani I'm going to eat you up and little Rajani said oh please Mr. Tiger don't eat me up and I'll give you my beautiful little blue trousers so the tiger said very well I won't eat you this time but you must give me your beautiful little blue trousers so the tiger got poor little Rajani's beautiful little blue trousers and went away saying, Now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. And little Rajani went on and by and by he met another tiger. And it said to him, Little Rajani, I'm going to eat you up. And little Rajani said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up and I'll give you my beautiful little purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings. But the tiger said, what use would your shoes be to me? I've got four feet and you've got only two. You haven't got enough shoes for me. But little Rajani said, you could wear them on your ears. So I could, said the tiger. That's a very good idea. Give them to me and I won't eat you this time. You see a pattern here. So the tiger got poor little Rajani's beautiful little purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings and went away saying, now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. And by and by, little Rajani met another tiger. And it said to him, Little Rajani, I'm going to eat you up. And Little Rajani said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up, and I'll give you my beautiful green umbrella. But the tiger said, How can I carry an umbrella when I need all my paws for walking with you could tie a knot on your tail and carry it that way, said little Rajani. So I could, said the tiger. Give it to me, and I won't eat you up this time. 
So he got poor little Rajani's beautiful green umbrella and went away saying, Now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. And poor little Rajani went away crying because the cruel tigers had taken all his fine clothes. Presently, he heard a horrible noise that sounded like, Grrr. And it got louder and louder. Oh, dear, said little Rajani. There are all the tigers coming back to eat me up. What shall I do? So he ran quickly to a palm tree and peeped round it to see what the matter was. Hmm. Hmm. And there he saw all the tigers fighting and disputing which of them was the grandest tiger. And at last they all got so angry that they jumped up and took off all the fine clothes and began to tear each other with their claws and bite each other with their great big white teeth. And they came rolling and tumbling right to the foot of the very tree where little Rajani was hiding. But he jumped quickly in behind the umbrella and the tigers all caught hold of each other's tails as they wrangled and scrambled and so they found themselves in a ring around the tree. Mm -hmm. Then, when the tigers were very wee and far away, little Rajani jumped up and called out, Oh, tigers, why have you taken off all your nice clothes? Don't you want them anymore? But the tigers only answered, Grrr. Then little Rajani said, If you want them, say so, or I'll take them away. But the tigers would not let go of each other's tails. And so they could only say, Grrr. That's a lot of R's. Mm -hmm. So little Rajani put on all his fine clothes again and walked off. And the tigers were very, very angry, but still they would not let go of each other's tails. And so they were so angry that they ran round the tree faster and faster, trying to eat each other up. And they ran faster and faster till they were whirling around so fast that you couldn't see their legs at all. And they still ran faster and faster and faster till they all just melted away. And there was nothing left but a great big pool of melted butter or ghee as it's called in India round the foot of the tree. So we went from these tigers to this tiger butter. Hmm. I could make butter. <laughs> now Kapali was just coming home from work with a great big brass pot in his arms. And when he saw what was left of all the tigers, he said, oh, what lovely melted butter. I'll take that home to Ramita for her to cook with. So he put it all in the great big brass pot, blah, blah, great big brass pot, and took it home to Ramita to cook with. When Ramita, so there he is, there's Kapali with the big brass pot, and there's Ramita. Ooh, what's she making? Hmm. When Ramita saw all the melted butter, wasn't she pleased? Now, she said, we'll all have pancakes for supper. So she got flour and eggs and milk and sugar and butter and she made a huge big plate of the most lovely pancakes. Unless you're a tiger. And she fried them in the melted butter which the tigers had made. And they were just as yellow and brown as little tigers. Those look yummy. They do look kind of good, but I don't know. Hmm. And they all sat down to supper. 
and Ramita ate 27 pancakes. Kapali ate 55. But little Rajani ate 169 because he was so hungry. And that is the story of the boy and the tigers.